So one of the things that you need to develop really good bladder cancer models, or any model, is you need to know where those tumors originate, um, what the cell types are, what the parameters are, and so since that hasn't been fully resolved for bladder, that makes it very challenging to develop models. Another really key thing that's been lagging in bladder cancer, but now we're starting to learn about it, is what the key alterations are that give rise to bladder tumors. And you need to know that in order to be able to model those diseases effectively. So in other words, we know P53 is a really key player in bladder cancer, and um, it's very important to model that uh, in the mice, but what are the, what are the factors that P53 interacts with? And this is actually one of the things that has just come out, if you will, or just you know, coming, starting to be understood from genomic analyses. But until recently, it's been very difficult to figure out, and so that's another thing that's hindered uh, developing mouse models of bladder cancer.